Hey guys, it's Ashley here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do Louboutin nails. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's been a trend going around very recently that I knew immediately the moment that I saw it that I had to try this trend out. So it's called, they've been calling it the Louboutin nails. And what it is, is it is nail polish that is based off of the ever popular Louboutin shoes. So a uh, fun fact for you, how the Louboutin shoes, which is usually a, the classic is a black shoe with a red bottom, but many, many of the shoes are, don't have, they're not black. That's just kind of what a lot of people think of. They think of a black shoe with a red bottom, but any red bottom is what Louboutin is known for. So he actually, it was um, 1993, he was in his factory and he actually saw a woman painting her nails. So this was inspired by nail polish. He saw a woman painting her nails red and he immediately took the bottle from her and painted the bottom of a shoe red. And that is where Louboutin high heels were born. So I'm going to show you today how to get this look. So classic look would be black with a red bottom. Now I'm actually wearing Made in Milan, which if you kind of can see in the light a little bit, it's actually a reddish brown, which is kind of just what I prefer. But a classic would be black and red. Now granted, I kind of have these two nail sets here that are a pink and a blue, both retired, I'm sorry, um, that I think would actually look really, really cool with the pink top and the blue underneath or vice versa. So you can do this with any color, but the classic is going to be black with red. Now I'm going to go ahead and preface this that the one mistake I think that I made with this is I did the tops before the bottoms. So I've only done these two because I kind of wanted to practice a little bit before I filmed it. But I think it actually works better if you do the bottoms first and then the top because they t you're going to leave it overhanging for a while and you don't want it to overhang on top of your nail polish here. Also filing is going to be a little bit more difficult if you already have the top product because you don't want the top to get ruined. So do the bottoms first and then do the tops would be my suggestion. Now. This is not for the faint of heart. This is not easy, but I'm not saying that you can't do it. Go ahead and try it, but it's definitely a harder technique. And um, the bottom of your nails are a lot smoother than the top of your nails. So it tends to not really want to stick as well as the top of your nails. So it takes a lot of patience and a lot of practice. Um, I did actually try this out with my last nail set just because, and I only did one finger, just cause I wanted to see how it lasted. Cause originally I thought, it being on the bottom of your nails, there's no way that that's going to last very long. And I wanted to try it before filming it. I want to say it lasted about five days before it started showing wear. It may have been seven. So somewhere between five and seven days before I noticed wear, which was honestly a lot longer than I expected. I thought between one and three days it would be like starting to go. But it actually lasted for quite a while. This to me seems more like a date night, going out on a party type look, but who knows, this might be like a standard look for a lot of people. It's very, very classy and very pretty. So uh, let's get started and I will show you how to do this. Again, not for the faint of heart and I'm probably going to mess up. <laughs> so let's get this started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut your nail strip in half. And this is just leftover from what I already did. So I've already got my half here and difficult. So. I've already got that cut in half. Um, I didn't mean to take it off the backing, but I did. But we're just gonna go with that. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your prep pad and clean the, the pads of your fingers, but you're going to want to clean under your nails really, really well. And I'm telling you, it already has trouble sticking. So if you don't do this part right, it's not gonna stick at all. So I'm actually taking my thumbnail and kind of rubbing under there. And then I'm gonna take my orange stick and I'm gonna get it even further underneath it. So I'm really, really making sure that my nails are super, super clean because you know you have a lot of dirt under your nails. You don't want to see this prep bad. It's pretty bad. So anyway, clean really, really good. Start with your nails so you're getting, because with your nail, you're going to get a lot more surface area. And then this is really just to get up and deep in there. Okay. So now that we've got that prepped, this is probably the hardest part is getting it positioned. So I'm actually going to take my rubber cuticle stick. I, I've done it with the wooden one. I've done it with the rubber and I think the rubber works better. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of putting that tip and you might want to practice first kind of understanding where the tip of it's going to fit. So I'm not actually getting all the way under there. I'm just kind of getting to where what's going to show. So you don't have to get all the way underneath it. All right. So I'm going to kind of line it up with the edge here. And I'm going to kind of hold it in place, basically. Oops, sorry. This is, 
again, not easy. So I'm kind of getting it lined up and you want the flat part. You don't want the rounded part. So I'm going to pull back the pad of my finger. So pull back the fatty part to make it more straight. And I'm going to kind of do like this. I'm kind of angling it and then I'm going to rock my cuticle stick upward and underneath. And you want to try not to get excess. So you don't want like, you want to get it as far under there without it folding over because you really don't want to clean this up later. I promise you, I did that with this nail and it was kind of a nightmare. So try just to get it under there um, and it doesn't have to be all the way up. There is space between, you can't really see it, but there is space that I didn't get, but you're not going to see it. So just try to make sure to get it to where the pad of your finger here is going to cover it up. Okay, so you, yeah, you can kind of see space. If you really look at it, there is space down there. Okay, because you don't want it folding over where you're going to have to clean it up later. It's a nightmare. Let me just tell you. So I'm going to save you some time. Okay, that takes a little practice, but you're, again, pull back the pad of your finger and just kind of rock it up there and then smooth it down. So you're going to work really, really well on smoothing this because, again, doesn't like to stick. So really, really smooth it down in there. And make sure you're getting all the corners and it's okay if there's a little bit not showing like the people aren't going to be staring at the underside of your nail so just go ahead get it really nice and again this would be really awesome um if you haven't so you can kind of see the tip of my nail is white so um previously what i did uh when i did my sample one is i actually did the the red and then i cut it and then i bent it over to where it covered up the tip then I filed it and then I did the top layer and I bent it over again. So there really wasn't as much space between it. Okay, so now that you've got it up there and you're gonna smooth it down really, really well up in there. Like so. And then I'm just gonna snip another straight edge because I can actually get four fingers out of one nail strip because why not? They're, you're not using a whole lot of the nail strip. So just try to cut as straight across as you can for the next nail. And you're just going to kind of leave it. Now I'm going to tuck just a little bit up, but I don't want it folding over onto my nail polish. Again, naked nails would be better for starting this out. So I'm just going to kind of fold it up and I'm going to leave it for a while, like 10 minutes at least, because you want it to cure because you don't want to file it and it move. Again, it's very, very slippery. Okay, so let's try again. I'm going to kind of line it up. Straight edge here. I'm going to kind of line it up. I'm going to grab it. So I'm going to pull back the fatty part of my finger and I'm just going to try to rock it underneath it. Okay. So like I kind of glided the nail strip along my skin, which is again why you need to clean really well to kind of get it up in there. Okay. And you can see it's a little crooked. There's probably a little bit over here that's not going to show, but I don't think it, that's not really going to matter a whole lot. Again, people aren't going to be staring under your nails. So I'm going to really, really smooth it out, which is why this rubber cuticle stick is nice but you could really get your finger up in there or use a different tool i think this is going to work the best okay so i'm smoothing like so and i'm just going to go ahead and cut my excess off here all right Okay, so I'm going to show you something that really worked well. So I put my nail strip with the straight edge on my orange stick. And then I kind of just lined it up with the edge of my cuticle, my rubber cuticle stick, which where we want it. And then I grabbed it with my finger. And that gets it lined up perfectly. I was really struggling kind of with my hand to get it lined up. But by using the cuticle stick, first off, you're not getting oils on the nail strip. And second off, it was really easy to see it. And then I just pulled back the fatty part and just rock it up there like so. So I just kind of, whenever you have it on there, you kind of can see where the edge is and where you need to line it up. So I'm kind of lining it up like right here with my nail. And then I'm doing that rock up. 
and then I'm pressing really hard. So pressing really hard is going to make it stick in the first place. So I will say I started doing this thumbnail whenever, before I forgot, I didn't clean it. I forgot to clean underneath and it was sliding all over the place. So if it's sliding a lot, that means that you probably need to clean a little bit better. So once I cleaned it, I had no issues with it. So you're going to press really hard and then you're going to kind of slide side to side and I'm pushing too. So I'm sliding and then pushing against it. And that's really getting it to stick very well. So I just thought I would share that with you while I was thinking about it and noticing it. All right finished results here. It's kind of a little harder to see, but especially my nails are a little shorter than they normally are. And I cut them this time. I think it would look, you be a lot more noticeable with longer nails, but it's really pretty and subtle. So let me show you, uh, I'm a little bit more zoomed out view. So this might kind of give you a little bit more because that up close, you're really seeing the tips of my nails a lot, but if you're just looking at it from a strict normal point of view, that looks really, really pretty. And I think this would be great, especially if you have longer nails, but even if you have, my nails are, I would say medium right now. They're just a little bit past my fingertip. This is a really, really pretty elegant look. Um, it does take a little bit of practice, but the more you do it, like once I did a couple nails, I really kind of had the technique down and it wasn't too bad. It's all about having clean, clean nails underneath and about really pressing down um, and smoothing them out, then letting them sit. And that letting them sit is a really, really big thing because if you start to file them too soon, they're going to start slipping and moving around because again, it doesn't have that rough texture to really stick to. So you really need to give it a solid 10 minutes before you file your nails. You could really even wait 20 just to be sure. I'm impatient so I did 10 and I had one of the nails move around on me and I had to kind of reposition it and I think it's going to stick just fine because I got it back on there and pressed but it probably would stick a lot better if I didn't. So anyway there are my Louboutin nails and I hope you learned something new. I hope it was fun and interesting and I would really really love to see if you use any of my techniques. I'd really really like to see them. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Go out there and be creative. Bye.